So everyone, if you could, uh, as we raise the flag, please face the flag, and then we will start the Star Spangled Banner shortly. I, I want to say really how much I appreciate you guys being here because we believe at the Scammon County Sheriff's Office that law enforcement and community engagement begins at the neighborhood level. And to do that, we have to make sure that we have access to the neighborhoods and neighborhoods have access to our employees. All right, and that's why we're opening the Perdido Precinct today, today, number two, and we're going to be opening up the Cantonment Precinct in two more weeks. So we really want to say that... Uh, that we, we appreciate you being here. I know that the weather was not wanting to cooperate. Uh, we thought about it for a second, put, postponing it, but you know we had been without a precinct for too long in Perdido. So we're gonna start, uh, start with that today. There are a couple people here that I want to acknowledge. Um, we have Alex Andrade. Alex, if you can raise your hand right there. Alex is a state representative. We appreciate you being here. We have a number of businesses here. If you have a business in this Perdido area, can you please raise your hand? Because I don't want to miss anyone. And, and just look around real quick because this is this these are the types of partnerships that we want to have. We also always partner with the residents, but we also understand uh, that their business is our business, and that's all uh, very important to us. There's a special person I want to acknowledge uh, right up front here is retired Chief Deputy Marco White. Marco, if you can just wave wave your hand. Marco Marco is retired Chief Deputy. And he was the precinct commander for Perdido way back in the day, probably before I was I was born. But Marco, I really do appreciate I really do appreciate you being here. We're here because uh, you know we're opening up a precinct, but we're also here because I want to introduce the lieutenant and our neighborhood specialist is going to be in this area because without them, opening up a precinct means nothing. So what I'm going to do is introduce to you to Lieutenant Tony Tampery. Tony's been here 25 years at the Scammy County Sheriff's Office. He is from this area. He lives in this area. And when we thought about opening this precinct, we thought no one uh, is better qualified, no one would, would be a better fit for Perdido than Lieutenant Tony Tampery. So he wants to say just a few words. Tony? First of all, I want to thank the sheriff and his command staff for the support of opening this place back up. Um, it's been a, it, it's, it's time. As a resident and as a officer out here, this is a long time coming and uh, we're going we're gonna to see some good things. Just hang on. We stopped by here yesterday just to see how it was going, and um, uh, a lady pulled up, and they, they came to talk to Tony Tampery about some situations and issues that they have in their neighborhood. And after, after we finished talking, Tony says, that's the second one today. Now, two may not be that, that seem like that many to you guys, but what that means is we're doing the right thing. What that means is people will take ownership in this specific precinct, and this will be their, their go-to location. Tony will be here on a permanent basis. We'll also have uh, Sheriff's deputies obviously assigned to this location with the expertise to deal with unique problems uh, and the nuances associated with, San with uh, Johnson's Beach and with the area over here in, in, in Rarity Point. Uh, we have had a tremendous response from a number of people. I wish that I could, I could, I could mention all of them, but obviously they, they, some are here and some cannot be here. But we do have some businesses, and I appreciate Channel 3 coming here because this is an important thing. We have Blair Castro from Shook PR here somewhere, 
and I appreciate you guys showing up here. I appreciate all the, the local media that ends up showing up here. Um, I now want to introduce uh, Dana. I'm going to make sure I get the last name right. Dana Pagador with the uh, Perdido Key Chamber of Commerce, correct? Could you come up, please? What a beautiful thing for our community. Um, as we grow together, it's very important that we grow together with uh, entities like the Sheriff's Office. And I just, I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you. So on behalf of the Chamber as well, we want to give you guys an award for your dedication to our area. Um, thank you so much for helping out the community, the businesses, and everything we're about too. We appreciate you. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> It really is all about partnerships. And it's partnerships with, again, the residents, it's partnerships with the business owners, it's partnerships with the chamber, because all, you know, we couldn't do this without each other, and we're starting that again today. So with that, it's time to cut this ceremonial ribbon. I'm gonna put this down. We had some scissors, but they um, paled in comparison to the chamber scissors. <laughs> so if you ever need some scissors, uh, Danny, could you come up here, please? Absolutely. Alex, would you mind coming up here? Uh, Commissioner Underhill, did he make it? No? Andrew. Okay, Andrew. Thank you all very much. We're going to go ahead and cut the ribbon here. This is going to si signify that the Precinct 2 in Perdido is now open. Okay, what we had planned on doing and we're going to do is having, we're on the round to the back here, we have uh, hot dogs and hamburgers and hopefully you can bring your children and yourself and uh, eat the hot dogs and hamburgers, whatever you want to. We also have a bit of an open house in here in the, in the precinct. But I do want to make mention that the precinct did not look this way about a month ago. It did not look this way probably a week ago. Um, there are some people at the Scammy County Sheriff's Office and some people with facilities at the county that really helped us out. As you can tell, the parking lot is better. We repainted, so it may smell like paint in there. This is an old building. We had used this building uh, many years ago. In fact, there were uh, two jail cells that were in here. We no longer used them as jail cells, so we had to take off the bars. Um, so don't worry, you can get in there and, and you can still get back out. But uh, we wish you would come and take a look at it because our hope is that you would uh, from time to time, if you see a cruiser car here or an un unmarked Pensacola or um, Scam County Sheriff's car, to come on in here and visit and say hello to us and let us know what your, uh, what your concerns are. So, and with that, this formal part is, is complete, but please mill around, come inside, go outside, the hot dogs are outside, and Marco, want to say a word? <laughs> All right, so he reminded me of a tradition. When you open a precinct and you come by, you have to bring some sort of a, a cake, cupcakes, or, or, or anything, anything like that. Yeah, anything but moonshine. Leave that. Leave, I'm not sure what y'all did back in the day, Marco, but we'll just stay with, with what we got. So, um, you know, as sheriff of Scammy County, I just want to say that, that uh, during the campaign, we talked about reopening precincts. We talked about engaging with the communities at the neighborhood level. And um, when I had that in mind, I, I really, quite honestly, did not think we would have this big a turnout. It's February. You never know what the weather's going to be like. But I can't thank you enough for being here. Um, this is just the beginning. As I, as I mentioned before, if you're a, member, a business owner, your business is going to be our business because we understand that lower crime rates build businesses. And I'm sure the chamber, she didn't tell me to say this, but this is, this is you know, pretty easy stuff. Um, but this, again, this is just the beginning. We're going to continue to expand. We're going to be back here in the spring. We'll have a little, a, a little picnic out back um, when the weather's just a little bit nicer. But I just, can, once again, want to say thank you all and um, enjoy yourselves. Thank you very much for being here.